This is SSPTV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. The Red Cross needs your help so they can help those in need in our community. Find out what you can do next. Good evening and thank you for joining us at SSP TV News. I'm Ken Cara. Remember, we're available on the air, online, and on the Samsung Productions app. Here's today's information from SSP TV and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. It's been a very busy start to the year for the American Red Cross with numerous fires and disasters not only in our area but around the country. You can help ensure that these life-saving services are there when needed, Lisa Sugar explains. Pleased to welcome back to our studios our good friend Dave Skutnik, who is the communications manager for the American Red Cross of Northeast PA. Dave, the month of March is Red Cross month, and you have a big day coming up on March 27th. Yeah, absolutely. March 27th is Red Cross Giving Day, and it's a day where we rally everyone uh, here at home and across the country to realize that every little bit counts, every little donation counts, and it's not just the big corporate checks that help uh, us help families in times of disasters. As little as $10 helps us put a blanket on a fire victim who just came out of their house with nothing but the clothes on their back. And you're busy everywhere, every day. You've been busy in this local community. Two major fires right to start off the new year uh, here in our area, uh, one in West Hazleton, one in Freeland. So you're really helping out the community and they see you at every event because no matter what news story I see or report on, it's always the American Red Cross is on the scene. The American Red Cross is on the scene. God bless you guys. Uh, thank you. I really appreciate that. Our volunteers and the Red Cross is made up of 90% volunteers. They answer the call 24-7, you know, whether it's the middle of the afternoon or the middle of the night, they're out there because, you know, when you think about it, a, a minor inconvenience of getting out of bed at 3 o'clock in the morning is still far better than what these people are going through when they're standing outside watching uh, their possessions and their homes. Uh, in flames. Well, we hope we never need your help. We know it's there if we do. And that's a comfort to have, but to make sure they're there, you have to give. So how can people give not only on March 27th, but every day of the year? There's three ways you can donate. It's very easy. You can call us at 1-800-RED-CROSS. You can visit us online at redcross.org. Or from your cell phone, you can text the word Red Cross to 90999, and that'll make a $10 contribution to the Red Cross that'll come right off your cell phone bill. So easy three ways. And again, as little as 5 or $10 does make a difference, and it makes a difference right here in the Hazleton community. Well, we hope that everybody watching this right now will dig into their pockets to find that extra five, ten dollars or more and make sure that you continue to have the funds you need to do the great job that you do. Absolutely. And we thank everyone for their support because, again, without it, the Red Cross is not government funded. We are 100 percent donor supported, so we rely on the community. All righty. So dig deep into those pockets and help out our American Red Cross. Thanks, Lisa. In other news, the Wilkes-Barre Veterans Affairs Medical Center is hosting a town hall meeting for veterans, their families, and the public. The meeting will allow those in attendance to provide feedback on VA operations and recommendations for VA programs. Employees will also be on hand to assist veterans with filing and status of claims and other benefit services. The town hall meeting is tomorrow, March 27th at 5 p.m. at the VA Center in Wilkes-Barre. Now some breaking delicious news out of Frankie's Pizzeria and Restaurant in downtown Hazleton. Let's take a walk down the street from our studio. I always love talking about McAdoo right near where I was raised a little bit. Um, Lauren Sacco here with us, owner of Frankie's Pizzeria and Restaurant. Grew up in Claire's a little bit right near McAdoo. And we have great news. My mom still lives in McAdoo. So mom, good news for you. Frankie's Pizza now available at Boyer's Market in McAdoo and also in Hazleton on 15th Street. Yes, they are newly added to our route. I wanted to talk, Lauren, when we come in here to do these segments, we do them in the morning, there's a lot of activity. I know you serve breakfast, but you're also making the pizza yes. fresh that day. So what's the yes. morning like here at Frankie's? The morning is a little bit of madness. <laughs> uh, we start about as early as 6.30 right now, and I have a separate crew that comes in. They start with the fresh dough. We have our sauce prepared, our cheese grinded down, and everything is hand stretched. So every box that you eat out of here is prepared that morning and made that morning. Um, we technically have a shelf life of four days that we are cleared for, but there is nothing like buying it today and eating it today 
or even tomorrow. It's meant to be bought today and eaten within a day or two. This is not meant to sit on your counter. It's a clean product. There are no preservatives put in it. There is nothing in it to keep it fresh so that it's able to sit. Um, and we pride ourselves on making sure that each box that goes out of here, when you take a bite, you are just, wow. So now you can get it at the Boar's location in yes. McAdoo, Boar's location in Hazleton, Thomas's in Hazleton, Carone's, and then Gould's down in um, the Valley. Yes. So those are all that we get everybody. Mm -hmm. and Not everybody. A, and there's a promotion. You open up that box, you might get a golden ticket yep, this month. Yep, for the whole month of March. Winner. All right, so Lauren, this is good news. I mean, if you're watching us in Tamaqua now and you're not making the trip up to Hazleton, you just go to McAdoo. McAdoo. Go, to, go over there to the Boyer Supermarket and grab your box of Frankie's cold pizza. Time now for weather on SSPTV News. Here's our forecast now from the National Weather Service. Going to be cold and clear tonight, though. We'll have a low of 17 degrees. Wednesday is sunny with highs in the mid-40s. Wednesday night, mostly clear, low of 27 degrees. Then on Thursday, sunny with a high near 51. Wind gusts as high as 21 miles per hour at night, down to 40 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Then on Friday, mostly cloudy, high of 59. Friday night, mostly cloudy, low 46. Saturday is mostly cloudy, but we get to the lower 60s. And then Saturday night, a 50% chance of showers, mostly cloudy, low 42 degrees. Tamaqua Area High School baseball and softball teams got things going on Monday. Here's the SSP TV standard speaker scoreboard. The Blue Raider baseball team trailed Panther Valley 5-2-3, but scored twice in the bottom of the sixth, and that set up a dramatic seventh. Nick Briner hit a double to get things going with one out. Cody Ham's infield single won the game as Briner scored. Braden Knobloch had a two-run home run in this game for Tamaqua. In softball, Tamaqua suffered a dramatic loss in extras. Kutztown scored the winning run. On Sunday, the Penn State Hazleton baseball team was swept by Wilson College. They open up Penn State University Athletic Conference play at home on Tuesday. In boys tennis, MMI and Hazleton area lost in the Wyoming Valley Conference. Coming up, we walk through the green door at the Hibernian House in Girardville, and we are greeted by a story you won't forget. In sports, it was a tough matchup for the Penn State Hazleton softball team against the Czech Republic national team. We'll see what they took away from the once-in-a-lifetime matchup. Watch SSP TV in Scranton Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. until noon on Comcast Channel 190. Good evening, everyone. Here's today's Talk of the Town. The members of the Beaver Meadows Volunteer Fire Company will be having a pizza sale every Friday until April 12th. Pizzas can be purchased for $10 baked or $9 unbaked. You can add a mushroom or pepperoni topping for a dollar more and extra cheese for $2 more. To place an order, you can call the fire company at the number on your screen. St. Michael's Church in Shenandoah will be having a Halupki and Halushki sale on Saturday, April 6th, but you must pre-order. Pre-orders will be taken until April 1st. St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Beaver Meadows is currently having a Palm Cross sale. Roman crosses will be $11, and Byzantine crosses are $15. You must order by Wednesday, April 3rd. And a reminder, the 23rd annual Greater Hazleton Job Fair will be held on Thursday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Janetti's Ballrooms in Hazel Township. And that's today's Talk of the Town. SSP TV News would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of the following. David D. Marola, Mass is Thursday at 10 a.m. at MPB Church in Hazleton. Friends and family may call Thursday at 9 a.m. at the church. The Croft and Hughes Funeral Home in Hazleton is handling arrangements. James P. Dowd of Hazleton, Mass is Wednesday at 10 a.m. at St. Gabriel Church in Hazleton. Friends and family may call Wednesday at 9 a.m. at the church. The Joseph B. Conahan Funeral Home in Hazleton is handling arrangements. And Carl J. Pizzetti of Freeland, the McHugh Wilczek Funeral Home in Freeland will announce arrangements.